Hello, everybody. I am Alisa Cota Francis, your Vontify video coach, and I'm here with your Vontify video coach tip of the day. And I am using a new platform, so I'm super excited. And I want to go ahead and type out some stuff because this is really fantastic. So I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about, about the fact that what I'm noticing a lot when I am on Facebook and I can't help it because this is what I do. So, you know, I've been in this industry 22 years. I still work in the film and television broadcast industry, and I do professional videos for folks uh, who want to put stuff on their website and things like that. So um, I'm always really aware when I'm on Facebook and I'm watching what people do and how they handle their um, live videos and what they do. And I get really excited when I see folks who are just so gung ho and they get on and they do a great job um, because they're just getting on there. So to me, I feel like half the battle is getting someone to realize that doing a Facebook Live is golden, um, that it is the way to go. And I'm going to make sure I bring up my notes here so that I can go ahead and see my live and make sure if you have any questions. And they come on doing their lives. But what I see is, I'm going to use this as my little example. They've got their phone and first, they're not making eye contact with the camera. So that gets a little uncomfortable for me because I want to feel like I am really feeling connected to whoever that is. And in a, the way you need to feel connected, again, eye contact. You want to make sure you're engaging your audience. And I understand that I'm over here getting this system up so that I can take a look and make sure there are, if there are any questions that come up that, you know, I can answer them. But I see this where, you know, you have your phone um, and they're looking at the screen rather than looking at the camera. So you want to make sure again, that you are looking at the camera. But here is the thing that's been bothering me the most lately is moving your camera while you're doing a video, whether it be live or any type of video that you post. When you decide to walk around with your camera, that is extremely discombobulating is the best word I can think of to your audience. So we want to be cognizant of that. We want to make sure that we're not doing those things that are going to make Someone just say, oh, forget this. I'm going to stop watching this video. Um, you know, I mean, there are so many things we can make sure we're prepared to do. One of them is making sure that we're adding value by having tips, you know, that you're saying, here's what I'm going to talk about, that you're not just there to chit chat and say, oh, hey, guys, how's it going? No, you're there with a plan. You're there with a purpose. You want to add value to their life, whatever that may be. And maybe it's just being positive about what's going on in your life. But here is the thing. There are so many tools that you can use like this, this stand here. This is one of the handiest tools that you can use because look at what it does. It just, it's, you know, it, you can stand it up literally anywhere. And because it bends and it holds so steady, you can take this with you on the go because it's really not that intrusive. If you're serious about building a business and you're serious about talking to your audience in a way that engages them, you need to have the right tools to do that. So let's get away from that video that's handheld where you're walking and you're talking. I just really don't want to see any more of that because you're really doing a disservice to your audience. Even when you grab your phone and you're like, okay, let me show you. Da, 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 da. That doesn't work. That is something that, hey, that's fantastic if you want to do a little bit of that. But when you're in a video that lasts two, three, four, five minutes, and you're describing something and you're talking to them and you're moving and you're walking and you're talking, that is really difficult. And I am not talking about Instagram, 
live or Snapchat live or Facebook lives, the little, you know, where you can do a little 10 second, hey, I'm here, let me show you really quick. Those little 10 second videos, hey, they're great. They're fast, they're easy to, you know, get to your message right away. People are okay with what you're gonna do in that. I'm talking about those videos that are gonna go longer than two minutes. Let's not move the camera. Let's stay still because what you're doing is really making your audience uncomfortable. Now I've been moving a lot while I've been doing this live, but also one of those things too, you want your, you want your audience to know that you're confident, that you love talking about what you're talking about, that you wanna engage with them. The more erratic you are, the more kind of crazy you are, people get a little, I was watching a live with a gal the other day and she kept coming forward and back, forward and back and like just, and she's a gal who makes supposedly tons of money, you know, in a, in a group she manages and in a, in a website that she has with her husband. Um, and she brags about that money all the time. Um, but she constantly shifts side to side, back and forth. That just, it made me feel like she was very erratic, that she'd either drank too much coffee or was on something because it was very disconcerting. And what I found was when I watched more of her videos, she was this way in just about every video. It was her tendency. My guess is that she was just uncomfortable still on camera because that's from a professional standpoint, this is what I do for a living. I watch people. I can kind of gauge if are they uncomfortable? Is that why they're acting that certain way? So she appeared to me that she just she's not comfortable in her own skin. So she comes off as very standoffish. Uh, she keeps her audience very much out of, nope, I'm here. I'm much better than you. Um, rather than connecting with them and, and really like smiling and enjoying them, she she was just, just an oddness about her. So that's what we want. We don't want to make our audience uncomfortable. I'm looking over just to make sure there's no questions. And that's the thing. We want our audience to feel good. We want to smile. We want to help them. You know, we want to be that 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 expert at whatever it is that you do. So with that, I want to make sure that we're not walking around with the camera. Let's not do that, folks. You're not a professional, what we call in our industry, steady cam. You're not a professional steady cam person. That's not what you do. I have a good friend who I graduated film school with. That's what all, he makes tons of money because he's one of the best steady cam operators in the world. They fly him all over the world because he has a whole like suit he wears and he mounts the camera and he walks with you. But he has all of these things that balance the camera out so it looks really smooth. That's not something that's really accessible at a very low price range. Not for people who are trying to build a business. There are some products out there that run at least $149 to $249 to start. If you want to know about those, I absolutely can talk to you about those. But again, we need to not carry our camera and move about when we're doing these lives. Because I will tell you, I won't watch. I won't. I, I just, I just, it's too difficult for me to watch. And especially if you're moving it around and you're up here, you're down here. You're blah, blah, blah. No, I want you to be smooth. I want you to come off as professional as possible. I want you to feel relaxed. I want you to feel like you're having a good time. And the best way to do that is to be in one place, to have some sort of piece of equipment that holds your camera and puts it in place for you no matter where you're at because the more comfortable, the more easy you make it for your audience to engage with you, the better off it is. So let's do that. So let's let's stop with the let's walk all around town while I do these videos because people don't like them. They won't tell you they don't like them. They just won't watch. And that's what you need. You want people to watch. So if you need any tips and any other suggestions on things you should use to make it easier for you when you're doing these live videos, I want you to reach out to me and ask me those questions. But I'm here as your resource. So I am Alisa Cota Francis, your Vontify video coach, and this has been your Vontify video coach tip of the day. So I am so glad um, that we're getting more people subscribing to our newsletter. So if you want more of these valuable and helpful tips, 
subscribe to our newsletter. I'm going to put a link on this live so that you can hop in and you're going to get tips every week that tell you what kind of microphone I use, what kind of equipment I use um, to make it super easy, how to set up your own little studio for less than 50 bucks in your house. Um, I want to make this, like I said, as easy as possible. Um, and I'm going to suggest things on how to build your confidence, you know, all kinds of valuable information. And I want to thank you. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for finding them so helpful because so many people have reached out and just are so happy with the information I provided. Thank you guys again. And I will see you next time with your Vontify video coach tip of the day. Have a great rest of the day, guys.